really looks beautiful. So pretty. This is called <laughs> Rhyme Ice. And these photos were shared with us through Chime In from our Fox 11 viewer, Debbie. This ice was seen all across Northeast Wisconsin over the last couple of days. Yeah, meteorologist Phil DeCastro explains how this beautiful phenomenon happens. If there was one upside to the widespread stubborn areas of fog earlier this week, it was that it resulted in lots of photos like these. Beautiful examples of freezing fog forming what's known as rime ice on just about every object it came in touch with over the last few days. Lisa Allen sent these in from Abrams with rime ice forming frosty spikes on shrubs and signs in her yard. She said she'd never really stopped to notice just how interesting this could be. Everything looked kind of hairy, you know, yes, it was yeah. just so I, you know, I was like, oh, I have to take a picture of that. And then, you know, each next step after the, the, the bush and then the sign, yeah. you know, the etched like that. This frosty phenomenon needs some pretty specific circumstances to occur. You need a few things to get rime ice to form, like how we saw across the area earlier this week. You need to get freezing fog to form, which is fog that forms in below freezing temperatures. That results in fog that contains supercooled water droplets. Those are water droplets that are still in the liquid state, even though they are below 32 degrees. And you also need a bit of a breeze to get that fog moving around. That's not always something that goes with fog. Many times, if you get a bit of a breeze going, it can hinder that fog formation, but not this time. Now, if you just have a freezing fog without a breeze, you could still get a layer of frost to coat the objects outside. That's what we're seeing in this picture that Cindy sent in to chime in. You can see the frost evenly coating the needles of this evergreen. But to get that spiky, pointy rime ice, you have to have a breeze. This is a beautiful close-up example that Linda submitted to chime in. And once you get that breeze moving the water droplets in the fog around, uh, that is when the rime ice starts to form. It hits the objects that are sticking up into the wind and the super cool droplets that hit that object instantaneously change states from liquid to solid. That process continues, the ice keeps piling up and eventually you start getting those spikes to form and they're actually pointing into the direction of the wind. Now the other side of the branch here, that actually stays relatively ice free on the leeward side because it's shielded from the wind and the fog. It's a great example of the smallest things in nature sometimes resulting in amazing beauty. Meteorologist Phil DeCastro, Fox 11 News.